So if you look at my screen, this is called the SSRI Reporting Services Web Portal. I've created it right here on my local system and I have reports I've created as well. So if I click on one of the reports, for instance, the customer's report, it will display a tabular report and that is the simplest report you can create using SSRS, which is a Microsoft tool. If I go back, I can actually choose maybe invoices and I also have a tabular report. We also have matrix report we're going to be talking about a little later. So this tutorial is for absolute beginners and it shows you how to use SSRS tool to create reports. So I can actually add one new report by clicking on this upload and I'm going to choose, I think I should have product reports right here and I have product reports here and it's going to actually be available here on the web portal so that users in the network or even users online can actually use this report when you expose it. So I'm going to be showing you as a beginner how to create a report. It will require a bit of setup and that is why I've created this web uh, page here to um, actually show the steps we are going to be following because it's going to be a step-by-step -step with no single step skipped. You don't require any knowledge of database administration or queries. Everything is going to be by GUI, but if you want to go a bit further, I'm going to also show you how to write simple queries, create views, and that goes into having some knowledge of SQL but that depends on you. All right, so let's get started right now. I would like to recommend you subscribe to my channel. So if you subscribe, you don't miss any update from me. Um, and also like and share this video. Let me know if you have challenges following this, this, um, this tutorial. Now this is the design of this report, right? So this is our design and this is the output here on the web page. So while you are using this tool to design this report is available on the web page. I'm going to close everything and let's start from the scratch. So I'm going to close this page. So this is the start and I'm going to, this is configuration. We are going to come here in a minute and this is report builder. We are going to come here in a minute as well. So let's start from the basics, from the scratch. So the first thing you want to do is to download and install SQL Server. So if you go to the link for the download of SQL Server, I think this is the download page. Mm, I linked it wrongly. Okay. So this is the download page for SQL Server. So if you open the link, so you can have SQL Server here now. If you go to SQL Server download page, you can download Developer Express. I recommend downloading Developer because it has more features um, than the Express. So download and install. Once you install it, um, you actually will not be able to see it unless you go to Services. You can go to Services and you'll be able to see it uh, MS SQL Server. So let me just show you after installing SQL Server right in services. So if I scroll down, I think it's going to be under S and you can see a number of things about that. Note that once you install SQL Server, you should be able to see SQL Server here regardless of what is attached to it. So for now, let's not complicate anything. Okay, so once you install it, you have it installed. Now you don't have any GUI after you install it. So you are simply going to go down this page and download and install Management Studio. Now, if I scroll down, we have, you need to download Management Studio. So this Management Studio page, um, let's see. So once you come here, this is the download page and you simply download Management Studio. I'm not gonna be showing you how to install it because the installation of Management Studio is quite um, straightforward. And now if, after installing Management Studio, we are going to have Management Studio. So we have Management Studio 18 gives us a GUI to create a report server, um, a report se uh, services, and also create uh, provides us with a database engine management as well. So let's get back to work. So now, after downloading these two, now you now have to move to the next part because this two is basically about databases. Before you can use reporting services, you need to have a database as well. You need to have your reports uh, in a database, your report server created uh, and your data available in a database, right? So you have, the report is going to be fetching data from it from somewhere and we are going to be using data stored in a database right here. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is now the important thing you need to install SQL Server Reporting Services. So I'm going to go to the page. So 
um, says installer SQL Server Reporting Services. So let's go to the installation page for SQL Server Reporting Services. And this is the installation page for SQL Server Reporting Services. I don't know why Microsoft is always advertising. Okay, so you have SQL Server Reporting Services 2019. Simply click on download and download now and install. So I'm not gonna take you through the installation because the installation is quite straightforward. Okay, so now after taking step three, install reporting services, which is what we have here. After you can, after then you can open the configuration manager, right? So you can open the configuration manager. By the way, this management studio is trying to open. Okay, so let's just allow it. So after installing reporting services, you can open the configuration manager. By the way, let's just check uh, management studio. So this management studio. Um, I can actually just type dots here and just click on connect. And it connects to SQL uh, server. So this is, there is no reporting services in this case. It's just basically SQL server here. You have databases, you have a number of databases. We are going to be coming back here in a minute. So I'm going to close. Meanwhile, take note, take note of something. I typed a dot here. A dot means the local server, all right? Okay, so let's uh, just minimize this so that we don't have to open it again. So after installing reporting services, the next thing you want to do is to configure reporting services. To configure reporting services, you are going to be using the configuration manager, right? So let's see. So we are, we are going to be install reporting services, and then we are going to be using configuration manager. So how do we get to the configuration manager? There is a configuration manager window. To get to the configuration manager, you're simply going to go to your programs file and look for configuration manager. Configuration manager. If I, uh, configuration manager. So you can have a uh, report server configuration manager. This is the 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 configuration tool for SSRS. So this you must have to do. You must have to configure your reporting server. And it's asking a question. You want to allow, just click on yes, and this opens up the configuration manager like so. And you simply click on this report server instance, it's okay, just say connect. Now when you click on connect, you have a number of things enabled on the left hand side. So you have to do a bit of configuration here to make available the web portal URL, which is this. Sorry, I think I did close the web portal URL. Okay, but this is where we're gonna make it available here. So let's go ahead to do configuration. Again, the steps I'm following is also there in my website. So the first thing you wanna do is to click on this, on the service account and check that this is the way it is here, virtual service account. Click on the web service URL. Now at this point, um, you have to click on apply. You don't have to change anything, just click on apply. That's all you need to do, just click on apply. And it takes a while, it applies and sets up your web uh, service URL. So there is a web service URL, it's a web service URL, so basically it's not a web, a web portal URL. So let's wait for a second, and the next thing we want to do is to go down to the next item, database. In this case, now I want to tell the reporting services the report uh, database we want to use, right? We want to tell, want to, uh, tell report services the database we want to use, or the database server for the report. Now, I already configured it, but normally you have something like this window. So in this window, again, the steps are right there on my website. In this window, you are going to choose Create New Report Server Database. So you're going to go next. And the server name, this is my server name, but you can use just dots there. And go next. Now the database, you can give it a name, right? So I call it Report Server. And go next. Uh, it already exists. So let me call it Report Server 1. Um, Report Server 3, or for instance, and I'm going next, Service Credential, next, and next, okay? So, now it's 
going to configure pot Sava 3. Okay, so for, for you it should be just report Sava, right? Okay, so I'm going to click on finish. So now we have report Sava 3 configured, and the next thing we want to do now is to um, is to go to the web portal URL right here. And again, what you simply need to do here is to click on apply. So once you click on apply, it's going to apply the existing configuration to this URL so that this URL will be available uh, on a web page, all right? Will be available uh, to be accessed on your browser. So let's see how it plays out here. So at the end of this, this well, steps now we should be able to access this web portal. So if I click on this, I think this is the end of the configuration if you go to this point, but let's test it to make sure it works. So I'm going to click on this link and it's going to open up the report server web portal as you can see right here. And right now there are no reports created so far as you can see, it's quite blank right here. So we've completed the configuration and at this point I'm simply going to close the window. Let's go to continue from the remaining steps. So at this point, the next thing is to complete the configuration right here. Yeah, connect SSRS and connect to SSRS and register a report server. So to use reporting services, you need to register the server. We call it report server 3 when we did the configuration. You need to register the server in SQL server management studio and this is how to do it again i already know the procedure so i'm going to go to management studio and i'm going to go to um this time i will go to reporting services so this is not this is database engine i'm going to go to view and choose register servers so in register servers, you have database engine, you have analysis, and I'm going, to, I'm going to go to reporting services right here. Reporting services gives you this option, expand it, and you have this local server group, okay? So you have to right click and say, register our new server registration. So it's going to ask you the server name, and you have the server name, Kinson PC new SSRS. And that will be the name of the server. And then you simply click on test so that you make sure that it works perfectly well. Just wait for a second. Because I already did, I already completed this process. So I don't know. I think it's going to take a couple of seconds to re register it again. But once you complete this process, you have at this point, you can drop down um, the local server group, you can then drop down and see the registered as a server. So um, let's wait for a second and see. Yeah, great. Okay, so you say connection was, te was tested successfully, so I can simply uh, save or cancel. Now, if, if you drop down, you can see now the SSRS are uh, registered right here. Okay, so if I go back to my database, in, uh, the, uh, database engine, sorry, not database engine, but the object explorer, you can now connect to SSRS. So instead of choosing a uh, database engine here, you can just choose reporting services, as you can see, and the server name will be exactly what we configured and simply click on connect. So at this point, you can connect to our reporting server, which is what we have here. So the first one is database engine, the second one is reporting server. Now we don't have anything, we don't have um, any configuration here. So at this point, we've completely set up uh, the environment for working with reports. And the next thing we want to do, we are now ready to build reports. So this is the interesting part. So we are now going to install Report Builder and then create and publish our first report. Since I don't want to make this video to be too long, I would like to continue in the next part, in part 2. Again, right here in my website, you have the part 2 as well. So if you just go down, you see part 2 right here. You can actually go ahead of me 
but we are going to continue in the next part. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you also. Um, like my video and share it around. If you have challenges, feel free to just write me, connect with me on my social network profile, connect with me on Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever, and be sure that I'm going to give you the needed support. I remain times on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.